everything else should go back. Like when I unprone, there's no reason I should un ADS chat. Zero reason I should un ADS chat. Oh, okay. In our six on Twitter. I love this pistol, bro. It's so good. <laughs> Yo, it's Shock with DG, and today I want to go over some things to keep in mind if you're trying to make the switch from console to PC. I won't be giving any advice on PC parts or anything like that, but I will be giving you some advice based off of my experience from when I switched over from console to PC. So I picked up Siege back in year one, about a month after it first released, and I got to around level 200 and had 1500 hours played. Now I wasn't that good, uh, this is really back when I played the game very casually, I didn't play that often, so I don't really remember my sense and all of that, but I did end up hitting diamond uh, multiple times on console. But I did learn a lot when I finally made the switch to PC. But before we get into the tips, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and maybe even subscribed if you enjoyed the video. I upload videos every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30pm East. And I also stream on all of those same days at 2 p.m. East. If you care to follow my Twitch, I'll have it linked below in the description. Alright, so with all that out of the way, let's get straight into these tips. So number one, the absolute most important thing that I could recommend you do is to check what your DPI is. Now, a lot of people when they first switch to PC may not even know what DPI is, but it stands for dots per inch. And it basically just means how fast your mouse cursor moves across your screen. So to check what your DPI is, you can simply go to whatever software that came with your mouse, go in there, and you're going to be able to find out what it is, and you can change it. Personally, I have the Logitech G Pro Wireless, so I have the Logitech software, and through here, I can change all of my stuff. If you don't have software, that's fine. Check the manual that came with your mouse, and you should see that on the bottom or even the top of the mouse, there's going to be this button that you can press, and a lot of the time, it will change colors when you press it. And this is what's called a DPI button. So basically, you can look in the manual for your mouse, and it will tell you what color is which DPI. So check your manual, and you can figure out what your DPI is to there if you can't find your software. So now that you know what your DPI is and how to change it, I'm sure you're wondering what to put it to. So mostly all professional FPS players will choose either 400 or 800 DPI. Now, of course, there's exceptions to this. There are people that will play on different DPIs. Uh, they, not everyone plays on just 400 or 800, but most people will. This is basically the industry standard, and I highly recommend that you pick either of these two. Personally, I play on 400, but you may want to play on 800 based off of a few different reasons, which we're about to get into soon. Alright, so another very, very important thing to know about is mouse pads. Mouse pads come in all sorts of variations, so it's important to do some research and find which ones are going to be good for you. My advice would be to go with the biggest mouse pad that your desk allows you to have, and also to stick with a cloth pad, but that last part is mostly personal preference. I personally use the HyperX X Extra Large. This pad I prefer, and I've tried over six different pads in the past. Alright, let's talk about your in-game sense now. This is not like console, so you're going to want your horizontal and vertical in-game sensitivity to be the exact same. So on console, a lot of the times people will have a different vertical and a different horizontal, but on PC, you're not going to want to do that. But of course, your ADS speed can be really whatever you want it to be. The only thing I can really say about this is that your sense is going to be mostly based off of your mouse pad size. So if you have a bigger mouse pad, you can experiment with slower sensitivities. But if you have a good sized mouse pad, feel free to experiment with really whatever feels best for you. At the end of the day, finding your sensitivity is a personal preference thing. I recently made a video on how you can find your in-game sense. So if you just made the switch and want an in-depth video all about DPI and the best way to find what your sense is, uh, be sure to watch that video. I'll have it linked in my playlist of tips videos below, as well as some other ones that you might find pretty useful. 
All right, so another thing that some switchovers forget about is that you can actually change all of your in-game settings, such as res your resolution, your aspect ratio, FOV, and all of your quality settings. Now, this is very important and can really help you out. So I made a settings video that you can take a look at. Again, it's going to be in that playlist of test videos in the description, but I'll quickly go over some things to keep in mind. So number one, if you have a bad PC and you don't get very many frames your first thought might be to turn everything off or to the lowest possible setting but i recommend you keep your shadows at least on medium what this will do is keep dynamic shadows on so this basically means player shadows or any moving shadows stay on this can be very useful for getting you some easy kills so keep this on medium another thing to make sure that you change is your fov by default it'll be on 60 but this will severely limit your in-game view and will make the game feel really slow and clunky so be sure that you turn this up personally i play on 84 but anything above 70 would be a great improvement over the default 60. so now for your resolution this really depends on your monitor but for mostly everyone the default's going to be 1920 by 1080 and i recommend that you just keep it at that now for something i would recommend you change that's going to be your aspect ratio this isn't something you have to change, but the default's going to be 16.9. So I play 4.3, which is basically a more stretched version of the game, which makes people's heads a little bit bigger and easier to hit, among other things. So it basically just zooms your game in somewhat. So 4.3 is great for a hollow only player like myself, which is mainly why I run it. Um, if you aren't a hollow only player, the default 69 is fine or even 1610. But again, this is mainly a personal preference thing. But I do recommend that you go ahead and experiment with this, change your aspect ratio, and find what works best for you. Now, honestly, I don't think there's much more that I can say based off of my experience making the switch. These were all things that I wish I'd known about when I first switched to PC. So I hope they can all help you out as well. But that's going to be it for today's video. But as always, thanks for watching. I probably like really intelligent girls. Intelligent girls are intelligent. Know, they know about what's like what they want to do. Except they don't know what they want to do in a relationship. You have been spotted. You will be detected if you remain in this zone. You will be detected by hostiles. Fall back. Yeah, no, no, no. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. Spotted. What? Alright. You have entered an enemy control there. Shock stream. I, I, I just looked over at my monitor to watch that happen. I hate life. Oh, watch the other one too. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by. Watch that one too, Tyro. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to go wobbing him through courtyard. Wobbing to 360. Back to the ground. Your location has been compromised. I'm supposed to do something now. You will be detected if you remain in this area. You have been spied like, by hostiles. Just, fall back. Like, he, like, I, I don't. I don't know. Zone, you will be detected by hostiles. Your location has been compromised. Hit him. I hit him. Got him. Op four. Oh, last zombie standing. Mad. Okay, he's on the roof. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you there. He's on the roof. He's on the roof. You will be detected if you remain in this area. Spotted. I. Op four eliminated. Mission successful. Okay. The fact that this kid's not banded is incredible. Yeah. 10 and 2. I'm just very good with the pistol. Do what now? The pussy's mine. What are you saying? What the f is this pussy's mine? The Drake pin. I don't know. Owning man! This guy really got blessed again. You know, go left foot up, right foot slide. I really want to know how drunk you are, mate. Oh, last stop standing. Oh. Changing max. I just irate myself. Ash it twice. C4, 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 I missed my... Yo, there was a guy... Hold up. There was a guy in luggage. There was a guy in luggage. That's guy luggage, that's a guy luggage. 
Uh, no, no, it wasn't. It was a bandit. Let's oh, Jaeger top wait, Jaeger top wait. I'm getting spam spotted. I can't fault. This is not good, bro. Wait, no, no, no. Dude! One friendly operator I'm remaining. Throwing right now. Cool vibes. Oh, good night! 